Hello YouTube and YouTube Pet Community. This is Motzilla here with another video. Um, was outside this morning, uh, took some pipes out and cleaned them out here on the porch. Um, some of the pipes that I had uh, sitting in boxes and stuff that um, just needed to clean up. Ran through some pipe cleaners and some alcohol and wiped them down nice. Um, start getting through some of those. Um, today I'm smoking my uh, DGE, my Doug Irwin Poker again. Um, in it I am smoking some H&H &H Rustica. Um, pretty strong blend. Um, wasn't sure what it was so I loaded it up and then uh, got it lit up and <laughs> once I lit it I had to go do some investigation on what it actually was. It turns out that it's got um, a, I don't know if you call it a species of a tobacco, but it's very high in nicotine. Um, so that explains why it's pretty strong. Not much else going on. Like I said, I figured I'd get out here, had some coffee, and got those pipes cleaned up. And um, hopefully get a few more of them done. Got about 20 of them done right now. Probably do another 20 or 30 later on today. Um, been working on the cellar too, trying to get some organization done there. Been going through some different blends, trying them out. Um, had pretty good luck. I haven't really run across anything that I really despised yet. So um, I've been having some pretty good luck. I hope I don't get too hooked on this stuff because I know it's something you can't get anymore. So we'll see how it goes. Like I said, it's it's got some good uh, good taste to it. It's got some floral notes. Definitely the burleys there. Um, but really a rich, rich smoke. Getting towards the end of the bowl here. Just go ahead and give her another tamp, another light here. It was a beautiful day yesterday. It was actually didn't get didn't get above the 80s, so um, didn't get a whole lot of actually done outside like I should have. It's kind of stuck inside most of the day, kind of getting unpacked and everything from our trip. Getting everything, you know, kind of put back in its place. Jarred some, jarred some tobacco up. Some of the bulk stuff I had laying around. Um, got some of that stuff jarred up and going through there. It's going through some tins and stuff too. I was actually going through videos and I seen that uh, Hobbiton Piper was actually a couple days ago. He had posted a video about uh, smoking this app. Like I said, after I had loaded it up, I was going through and kind of doing some research on it. And I ran across his video and a uh, good video to watch. <laughs> Glad I'm not the only one that thought it was pretty strong. I have actually two flakes in here. Um, I did have to take a couple breaks, like I said, when I was cleaning up, I just kind of laid it down and then picked it back up. So, um, not as quite, I guess, probably to me, it's more, it's got more strength than the, uh, number four, round number four twist that I was smoking the other day. Um, that's also, I really like that stuff. Um, for me, I guess. I wasn't a real heavy cigarette smoker, but I did smoke cigarettes for many years. I'd say probably uh, go probably 15 years now. Um, I haven't had a cigarette now in probably three or four weeks.
that was uh was having some problems coming across some you know blends that would uh kind of settle down that nicotine uh craving or whatever you get you know with the cigarettes um so i was smoking some burleys and stuff and some of them just weren't quite you know quite doing it for me um but got through it like i said now i'm uh i actually went on vacation i forgot my uh forgot my pipe roll i got that new uh pipe roll from uh, steve and kathy i really wanted to put to use and uh got it all packed up and had a uh, two or three pipes in it and some pouches and uh a couple baggies of stuff um i'd never traveled with tobacco before so i was a little bit nervous on uh how it was going to turn out you know with security and all that uh so we ended up going through security and got to the got to the hotel or whatever went to go and pack my bag and my pipe stuff wasn't in there i got real nervous so I, well, I figured maybe they took it you know condemned it or whatever you call it and oh i got a bee on me and bees uh so I was just kind of figuring, well, it's gone. I lost it. I was kind of bummed out. I had a couple, couple of my nice pipes in there. And, you know, I really liked that roll. So. Um, so my plan was I was going to go, I was going to stop at one of the tobacco shops. Um, while we were in, we actually went to Colorado Springs. So I did some searching and there's a couple, looks like a couple nice ones. There's a pretty big cigar shop that had some pipe stuff that I wanted to go check out um, so we ended up getting in a kind of a fender bender it wasn't you know wasn't our fault but kind of took the time away that we had I had set aside for that so I wasn't able to do that so I didn't have anything to smoke for then four or five days um, but when I got back sure enough that pipe roll was laying on the table I just forgot to put it in the bag so that was kind of a relief if I can oops I might not want to put stuff in there I had some uh, <laughs> had some pipe cleaners and some q-tips with some Everclear on it they just dumped my ash all over and hopefully they don't go up in a ball of fire here um, try to get some of this ash out here and then see if I got enough for another light or not it's down there pretty far still tasting good so I'll give it another shot here I've got to go back to work tomorrow so like i said i've been off for the week uh, so that's probably gonna be a you know crappy day to catch up mondays are bad enough bad enough with you know catching up throughout the weekend i do it work so it's kind of fridays are usually a really good day unless something happened major happens um, but usually, you know, like I said, Friday is a, kind of a more relaxed day because everyone that has problems don't want to deal with it on a Friday. And they'll wait till Monday and then we'll get the whole, kind of the whole big old box of complaints and issues in on Monday. So we'll have to deal with that plus the, you know, the backup from the whole week. Yeah, so it'll be fun. good thing is I don't have a whole bunch of meetings scheduled like I normally would because you know, I wasn't there all week and usually when you schedule something you know you'll schedule it for the next week try to fill your slots in but since I wasn't there last week there's not really much to you know, much to schedule so I'm getting a little windy here hope it's not coming through on the video but Usually I don't have the wind blowing at my back. Usually it's blowing this way, so the house kind of keeps it under control, but not today. 
haven't been able to make I was gonna make a video yesterday but the cicadas are making so much so much noise that they hardly hear me over the video so I just decided to get on some house party and uh, stuff later on in the night which I've been doing quite a bit of so that's that's been nice having a package come in here I think Tuesday so I'll probably be doing a video and show you guys that um, something I ordered from tobacco pipes I'm kind of excited about so we'll have to have to show you that and hopefully it gets here like I said never know but it's scheduled to get here Tuesday I don't think I've ever ordered from them before I usually order or I had, I had ordered from pipes and cigars I haven't done any tobacco or pipe orders probably for, I would say probably three years. We lived at the old apartment. I did a fairly big order of tobacco. And then, like I said, I just kind of laid my pipes down for a while just because I didn't have time with the kids and always felt like I was out and about. And now it's time to settle down and kind of enjoy things. So. I said really enjoying this uh, rustica too bad that can't get it no more but I've got a let's see if I can pull out the I've got this um, it's jarred up there's probably six ten flakes in here left and then I think I, I have a couple tins of it downstairs I'll have to double check though as I know the H and H stuff they all look kind of similar when I was going through them I, I might have skipped over or thought it was something else but I think there's a couple of them down there so uh, definitely not an uh, everyday smoke is probably something I probably should eat after dinner but like I said I had it this kind of after breakfast didn't really know about it so um, Usually what I'll try to do is I'll try to, you know, open a tin of something and if I'm not sure what it is, I'll try it out. That way I kind of get my own, my own tastes in and not trying to look for what I'm supposed to be tasting. Um, and halfway through the bowl, I'll kind of go in and start doing some research and maybe look at some reviews and see what you know other people run into on it. And uh, like I said, I'm pretty close with this one getting some good flavors from it like I said definitely a rich rich smoke this pipe actually like I said uh, I think in my previous video when I did this was actually the first uh, artisan pipe that I had got and um, I think in my second video I actually unboxed this pipe um, I haven't smoked it a whole lot like I said it's got it's got a little bit of use on it, but it's uh, it's a good smoking pipe. Um, let's see here. I think I actually got this one out to clean. Oh, here it is. So I think this was actually, this is just a basket pipe. Um, this is probably one of the first pipes I had purchased um, that wasn't an artisan. Um, I know I had some 320s and stuff, but this one wasn't far between between those. Um, so I've got a little bit of time here. I can show some other pipes I've been working on, cleaning up. Um, so this is a big custom built. Um, I wish I knew the story of this pipe. Uh, if you look, I don't know how much you'll be able to see it, if at all, but it's got this dark, um, dark rim. I thought it was char, but it actually looks like ink, like blue ink. Um, so I'm assuming what happened is someone had this pipe in their pocket and a pen exploded on it. And uh, that's kind of what happened. This thing's got a real big bowl on it. Um, it's it's been smoked a lot and the bottom uh, you, you're not gonna be able to see that without light but the bottom's 
it's well past the draft hole and the draft hole's got some funky stuff going on with it it's not really round it's more like oval um, so I might try to mud this one up a little bit there's a couple couple of them off to do that with and then Another one, a couple here, and this is a squash tomato. Um, this is a Royal Danish, and if you can kind of see, this needs some stem work, but it's got that little crown right there on the. Don't have the paint no more on it, but uh, this is another one that's a little bit. The bowl's in real good shape, but that's a little bit low from the draft hole. I don't know if it just wasn't drilled quite right, but it's got some nice rustication on it. And it's got these two kind of uh, handles where it's not rusticated, which is kind of cool. And then I got this one too. Um, so this one, actually, if you can see, it's been reamed out. Um, it's kind of an interesting ream. It's almost like someone turned it. Because you can kind of see, uh, almost looks like it's like it's kind of got brush finish inside. So I don't know if it was reamed or if it just wasn't smoked a whole lot. Um, uh, but this is just an imported briar made in Italy. There's no other markings on it, but uh, good solid pipe. I was actually a little bit nervous because take the bit off here and maybe it does go further than I thought but it's got it's got this little bit of a crack here and it does go through um, but um, right now it's not affecting the fit or anything of the, of the bit it doesn't seem like it's uh, it's spreading out, so I'll have to see how that handles it. It might have been this one I was looking at. Yeah, this one right here. So if you see there, there's another, but this one actually doesn't go through. It's just on the face of the briar. If you see there, it doesn't go through, but it might be a spot where it might come back through and crack. I um, have some other ones here. Like I said, I don't have time to show all of them, but uh, that's by what I've been working on this morning and uh, what I've been smoking getting the hiccups here so <laughs> the old rustica is getting catching up to me so uh, anyway like i said I'm running a little bit long here so i'll go ahead and wrap this video up and hopefully i'll get on later on today and make another video or it might be on house party so uh, everyone take care have good smokes take care